Good afternoon and welcome to a tour of a 1995 model Hino RG uh, 197. 197 horsepower, six speed manual, uh, airbags on the front suspension and leaf spring on the rear, funnily enough. So uh, we'll go for a drive inside, a drive inside, we'll go for a walk inside. So lockable front door and it is a outward opening door and then a pad bolt up the top there. So inside on the floor and the walls of the floor, it's a, a five millimeter vinyl plank, very hard wearing commercial grade uh, timber look vinyl plank. So as we cruise into the driver's area, bus driver man, six speed manual as I mentioned, 10 speaker stereo throughout the bus. Uh, and we'll just have a quick look across the, uh, the dash there so you can get a feel for what's happening. There you go. So uh, as we turn around into the bus itself, bus is um, engineered for five, five seats. So, <coughs> excuse me, four seats plus the driver. Two, three, four, five, seat belted seats. Um, and then we move into the bus itself. So TV, overhead storage, 12 volt lights, uh, roof hatch for ventilation. These windows open outwards, as you can see here, for ventilation. Uh, what else have we got here? The sofa bed folds out to sleep two. And this unit, the legs flip up and it folds down so the sofa, sofa bed can come out. TV, uh, USB charging station up there, or charging point, just a little one, <coughs> excuse me. Kitchen, obviously. Uh, dinette, which folds down into, to sleep sort of two children or smaller adults with storage underneath. Underneath both of those, gas upright stove, the hot water unit system downstairs, instantaneous, simply turns on when you turn the tap on and then it turns off when you turn the tap off. So it's a 16 litre per minute instantaneous hot water gas system. Uh, the solar station over here just sort of tells you how well your batteries are charging, how many amps are coming in, volts, all that sort of stuff. Um, another charging station here just for USBs to charge your phone, laptop, uh, there's four of those there. A few fuse panels for the water pump and the lights and whatnot. There's a few spare ones there. And then just the actual fuse panel itself so you can, if any of these blow, you can change them from there. Uh, air conditioner. So this is the main living aircon, which is quite good. Mains power here, certified. Four fuses in there, a bit more space for a few more, should anyone want to add any more. So then we come through to the bathroom. That is a oh, Dometic from memory. Yes, Dometic 510, 511 toilet. Uses about 300 liters, uh, 300 mils per flush. You simply just put your foot on the thing, flush it, let the waste go, and then take your foot off and then it refills again. So quite economical. Um, Vanity, obviously, mirror unit, and then there's a power point, double GPO inside the uh, the mirror unit. Shower screen is uh, about six days away. It's just uh, it's it's almost Christmas that time of year, but uh, the shower is there. I won't turn that on because um, yeah, did I turn that on? Yeah, there we go. Uh, because I don't want water going all over the floor. But it's just a pivot door out here, and. Uh, a normal sort of fixed panel there. If we come back out, the fridge, 130 litre fridge goes in there. I could have picked that up tomorrow. It runs off the inverter under the floor and there's a double GPO down there. Incidentally, there's a, a four gang GPO just on the other side of that bench that I didn't uh, didn't mention. And then we've got a uh, like a Const Constantina style door for privacy for the bathroom. That just sort of peels in and back out on magnets into the bedroom. Uh, a couple of cupboards. That is a new pillow top queen size uh, mattress, obviously unused in the plastic. And then under here, a bit more, a few more 12 volt charging points. 
up there and you can put a dual sort of cigarette uh, charging point in there. TV, another aircon, roof hatch, and again just the, uh, the same lights throughout. Uh, that's it for upstairs. So I don't think there's any more to talk about up here. Uh, so we'll quickly run outside so we don't make this video too long. Um, oh, it's, the panelling on the wall is an aluminium composite panel, so it's very easy to clean, it's very sort of sleek, it gives it a nice glossy sort of a, a look. So if we come outside, the bin space underneath, sort of two bins, uh, above there is uh, 200 litres of grey water, so it catches the, uh, the sink, the shower, uh, and then as we move along, the vapour, what they call a vapour box. So that keeps your gas bottles in there. Should they leak, they're sealed and they sort of, the gas drops through the bottom, but that's what's required for, uh, for certification. Two nine kilogram uh, gas bottles, brand new, and all the regs are brand new. Everything in this bus is brand new apart from the dinette and the couch upstairs. Certified on the 11th of the 12th, 2020. Um, signage, you need to have signage, just so for different reasons. Different certification reasons as we move across to the solar setup. Two 102 amp hour deep cycle batteries, brand new. Charger, which runs off mains power, and when you're hooked up to mains power, it will charge the, uh, the what they call house batteries, but solar batteries. A couple of fuses up the back there, just for good measure, to keep things safe. And then this is the solar Epiver MP50, I think it is, solar solar control unit, solar charge control unit. So it just sort of regulates the power that's coming into the batteries. Uh, I'm parked in a shed at the moment, but uh, the battery charger is doing the job for the solar panels. Incidentally, there's two, two 270 watt solar panels. So there's 540 watts of solar on the roof. Here we have a 3000 watt, 6000 peak inverter. This runs the two TVs, the fridge, and the ignition source for the hot water system, and whatever else you want to plug into it, really. So uh, up here we've got two double pole, double GPOs. So uh, you may or may not know that uh, caravans and, and buses need double pole GPOs. Just sort of Google that uh, if you don't understand. So uh, they're there for one, just to charge this battery. Uh, charge or give power to the battery charger, but uh, to hook power up to a washing machine and uh, whatever else someone wants to put under here. So um, if we move along to the, <coughs> excuse me, the air conditioners, I've got uh, one of them running as you can see. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, very good quality, brand new. That's two kilowatt. And that's 1.7 kilowatt. Um, and then across to the gas hot water system, it's a Rinnai B16, so instantaneous ga gas hot water, uh, 16 litres per minute, uh, a very good system. All of these, uh, the two aircons have got isolator switches on them, as does the, uh, the solar panels on the roof, if someone ever wants to work on them. That is a 10 amp outlet up here, weatherproof, uh, two double pole as you can see it says on there double pole I don't know if you can see that probably not <laughs> um, for whatever you want to do outside run a grinder uh, run some lights you know that sort of gear so I'll give you a quick run around the outside this bus is uh, I purchased off a, uh, a bus company as you can see there's other buses in here um, there's three full-time mechanics here and they make sure that the buses are well, they have to make sure that the buses are in good condition because um, they get audited. Uh, so if we cruise around here, da da da. Uh, window coverings, incidentally, I've left them off because uh, some people in the past, like I've, I've done a few of these buses, some people like blinds, some people like uh, curtains, some people like Venetians, some people like tint. So I've left it off for the, for the owner's uh, choice. In here we've got the black water tank, if I can show you. Oh. Black water tank is in there, and that's the, the gate valve that empties the black water tank. 
120 litres. So, and there's a hose that I'll show you in a second that clamps onto that. Um, let me just close this down here, like that. That is a mains water inlet, so if, if you're in town you've got access to mains water, like city water. You just plug a hose into that and that runs everything inside the bus. So it won't take water from your tanks. That is a freshwater filler for the black water tank, so that you can rinse the black water tank, the aseptic tank. That is just the fuel cap, I guess, fuel door, where you fill the, uh, the fuel up. I think it's uh, 250 litres or 300 litres, something like that under there. 15 amp mains inlet uh, for when you've got access to power. That will, will run the air cons um, and everything else. But so will a uh, 3 to 4, probably a 4 kilowatt silent generator will run everything in this bus. So um, moving along, that's 450 litres of fresh water and just the pipe work in there. That's the water filler. It's an extra large water filler so you can fill it up quite quickly. Shore flow uh, water pump, pumps 11 litres per minute. Water filter, just to catch any impurities because the water's running that way out of the tank obviously. And then a non-return valve which is that there so that when you are plugged into mains water it won't push the water back this way and if you can see just over here, every tank's got a vent on it. So if it didn't have a non-return valve, that thing up there, and you plugged into mains water, it will just fill this tank up overnight and just keep flooding water into this space down here. So uh, handy thing to have. So that's the grey water tank. That's the hose for the black water tank. You just hook it on and empty it into a dump point. And that is the, uh, the discharge or the outlet for the grey water tank. So that's about it. Um, hopefully this wasn't too long and hopefully it was, uh, you know, somewhat helpful to see what the high no RG is. Oh, it's got a bull bar on the front and uh, yeah, it's all pretty clean. So I hope you like the tour. Uh, leave a comment and um, yeah, thank you. Bye.